Hey, what's up guys? Today we're playing Tiny Metal. Now, if you remember, I actually played this a little while ago with a demo build that they sent over on the PC. I really wanted to check out how the game played and everything at that time, and I figured I would worry about the Switch version later. I was, I was very happy when they sent me over a copy to check out on the Switch, so thanks to uh, the Sony Unties, I think it's still how you pronounce it, Unties uh, Division. Thank you to them. And again, this is technically a game made uh, from Sony, a, a, an indie studio within Sony Music, I believe. Again, Sony Unties. So I figured we'd check it out. I've noticed a few things when playing it um, as compared to when I played it on the PC. Uh, the lower, the resolution seems lower here by a, a fair amount. It's enough to where it's noticeable on my monitor that I play these games on on camera. And uh, it was a little surprising to be honest when I saw it. I, it was, it's, it's very noticeable. I don't know what resolution, but when I saw that it was Unreal Engine, I started to kind of realize a lot of these games that are Unreal Engine that then move over to the Switch, the thing that seems to be the easiest, I guess, to do is just drop the resolution and get it to a certain frame rate that you like. So that seems to be the way they went here. Now, something else you need to keep in mind of this. Uh, the multiplayer is not here yet. <laughs> they released the game. And there's no multiplayer. Uh, I, I also checked on Steam. Um, we got a PC code that Evan's checking out. He said the same thing. Uh, multiplayer is coming soon, so you cannot do any multiplayer. In fact, if I go to it, it just says multiplayer is coming soon, and then it just says yes. So that's all you can do there. But I figured we'll check out some of the campaign. I've played a few of the missions, um, and I didn't want to play too far in because I didn't want to spoil any potential levels or, or story parts for you guys. So let's jump right into campaign here and play a few of the maps so you guys get an idea of what this is. Uh, really, it's it's very similar to uh, to Advance Wars. So if you like Advance Wars, then you probably like this. So let's uh, let's jump in here. We'll play this mission, one that I have not played as of yet. And uh, it's very story driven. Something I really like uh, is that it's very story driven. You'll see here if I go through, uh, there's a lot of text and they try to build like an actual lore around this. Has heavy inspiration from uh, heavy Japanese inspirations from anime and everything. Um, so if you actually were getting into this and not even thinking it would have much of a story, you're going to be kind of surprised because there's a lot of time is spent um, kind of reading the text, seeing what's happening, and, um, and and trying to, I guess, piece the story together. I'm going to fast forward through this because you may want to experience this on your own, but when I fast forward, you'll see how much stuff is happening. Um, here we go. Let me let me break through here. Uh, so now we have a scout. We're, we're, you see here, hold on, it's a bit too early for that. Initiate the lock-on command instead. They're still kind of teaching us things. There's a good bit to this game when you actually start playing, and because you can do skirmish modes and everything, um, it uh, it becomes uh, there's a lot to it. You start to realize it becomes kind of complex, which is a good thing because you want these games to be uh, there. We go. You want these games to be very complex so you have time to do strategies and different things. If it was very basic, it would get very boring very quick. Um, so this is how it will look on your screen, and uh, I think. What I think this is, I think it's at 720p. I, the text appears to be higher, like on things like your HUD at the top left, bottom right, and at the bottom. But you can even see the text on the ready and everything around them. Um, lower resolution, again, I think 720p, and I think the text is all rendered in 1080p. Uh, something we've seen with, with games like Xenoblade that do the same thing. Now, um, we're going to, according to them, do a uh, focus. We're going to lock on. So we're going to get these guys, I guess... Uh, go up here and hopefully everything works on with this lock on so we're gonna lock that on and then I guess we'll lock him on as well and let's see you can see here the unit will lock on to the target unit and end the turn you can combine firepower of other units who have also locked on by selecting focus fire right there so we'll focus fire and I guess we'll all just attack him at once um, so you can see here especially this is where it looks the most uh, noticeable in terms of lower resolution is when things are actually happening on the battlefield like that. Um, I don't know if a patch will come out as we go forward, but uh, again, keep this all in mind uh, before you buy it. Uh, it's um, it's something you definitely want to uh, be aware of. <laughs> is is that the resolution might be a little low? So if you're if you're a fan of of I guess maybe maybe 4K visuals or something, look towards the PS4. It's also out on the PC and the PS4. So keep that in mind. Um, so we're going to play through a little more of this. Uh, again, this is more more so the beginning stages, so it's kind of teaching us what to do here. Um, the factory near the area. So there are also factories. And uh, as you go through, your you have an economy that's set up. So you'll get 
uh, essentially metal as they call it, um, and then you could build stuff at the factories. So we're gonna find a we're gonna find a factory for them. Um, I see one here, obviously, uh, but we have to go take it. So that that will prove to be more difficult because I have to get all the way over there, um, which is fine because I have I have uh, kind of the rifleman that can move over, and I'll have these guys go uh, take this tank out as well. So we'll uh, lock on, and then I'll have this guy kind of run over and focus fire on him. And uh, that should take care of him. Again, notice these battle segments, um, how they look. Uh, this is all just for you guys, so you know if you should be buying this version or another one or not. And then we'll also, of course, look at it in portable mode towards the end here, so that'll give you an idea of that as well. It's less noticeable, I will say that, in portable mode, but the resolution does drop there too. I'm not sure if it drops lower than 720p there, but it doesn't look as crisp on that small screen either. It is help does help that this is like a 6.2 inch screen. So uh, we're gonna beat all enemy units, but we're also gonna move up to this. I don't know why I'm so close here. Why am I so close? We're gonna move up and we'll wait. There we go. So I change, I seem to have changed. I don't know how that happened. Oh well. Um, I seem to have changed my view here and I didn't press anything to do that. So I'm not sure why I'm so close, but I'll, uh, I'll see if I can figure that out. Uh, wait, yep, there we go. There we go. Z uh, it looks to be ZR and ZL uh, that seem to change your viewpoint. You can command act, attack and capture unit command promoted in rank. Fast forward, and I want to give you guys a, a look at another mission too. There we go. So we'll capture this. There we go. Well, at least we'll work on it. It takes a little bit of time to capture each point. Um, so we're going to keep pushing him up there. And then when we do that, we'll be able to start creating more units. So we'll keep these uh, these Lancers kind of close together because they can focus fire and take out tanks. So they're doing something up there. Something's happening. Captured a building. Um, captured another building. <laughs> so they're they're looking to, to set up their economy, I believe, as they're um, as you have more buildings, you can uh, your uh, revenue increases. Capture another one, and that should do it there. So I now have that building. Uh, you see my attack boosted up because as they do things, specifically capture and attack, their each unit's rank will kind of rank up individually, which is cool. Um, they'll be promoted essentially to sergeant, things like that. So let's uh, let's work on capturing this building with him, and I guess we'll work him up as well. I don't think any of these are capturable, so we're good there. And then we'll work on moving him off and. Um, Building up, man. They are they are building up over there, man. <laughs> I, I, have a, I have a good good chunk of uh, money here though, so let me um let me start moving up. We'll wait uh, for him, and then we'll. So we have a scout. Uh, you'll see here it's uh, fast moving light vehicles that provide long range vision for your army. Scouts are good because obviously you need long range. Um, and then you have um, their armored vehicles, high offensive and defensive capabilities. They are equally effective against vehicle and infantry units. That's something you'd want to use right at the end to take them out. So we're going to get a scout together here. Um, he can't do much yet, so we'll just kind of have him hang out and continue to capture this building. And then we'll let him, this guy, kind of move up a bit. Um, maybe get some, uh, maybe run into some of their, I'm sure, tanks and whatnot. Oh, something just kind of came <laughs> flying out the bottom there. They are doing a lot up there. You can see the camera just jumping everywhere. Okay, so there's somebody that's perfect for uh, for Lancer's takeout. Um, this is uh, that's a scout. Ooh, yeah, I want to get rid of him because he's he's checking us out right now. Uh, so let's. Uh, I don't want to leave him there. I do want to push him up though. You want to try to push these guys up if you can, but I need to get the Lancers closer. There we go. I'm gonna let him kind of run up and. Hit him. So it's going to do 70% damage and 3% uh, critical. So that should do quite a bit of damage. Actually takes out two of them. And that's the interesting thing about the battles. We talked about this before on the PC version. As you do more damage to them, they will then do less damage because they lose their individual units. So if it's like a, a, a bunch of units that are made up of, um, say, six, and then they lose three, they'll do half damage then. Um, so let's see how much that'll end up opening up. A little bit there. And you should hopefully be able to finish capturing that building, which will let us then make uh, twice the amount of units. Ooh, attack boosted 30%. Nice. We'll use him. Uh, so I'm going to get another scout, I guess. And that sh I, I should only need two scouts, because then I can start pushing up and figure out where everybody is. 
Uh, and then I'll start getting some Lancers and some uh, Riflemen, I guess. Oh, he's, he's gone. Wow, he took off. Jeez. Let's keep pushing up here, I guess. See what's up there. Let him push up as well. I don't really care as much about the scout. Um, just because I can kind of... There we go. Oh, man, I was right next to him. I didn't even know it. Look at that. That's too bad because I told him to wait already. That's fine. So I'll move this, this scout up as well. We'll start kind of going up the left side and uh, kind of work up there. Some of these missions end up being a little longer, as you can see, uh, but this is all story mode. They have a long story mode with unlocks and everything, which is pretty cool, but all of your promotions stay within each skirmish. So as you kind of play through, um, everyone will start ranking up, you'll get stronger, but everything resets at the next one. I'm gonna make a medal uh, just to help kind of finish them off as we get up here, because we're getting close to uh, being done here. You can hit find next action, it'll tell you who, who you can move, which is good. I'm actually going to put him uh, over here, I guess. Put him right in there. I don't think I can attack him, can I? See, he's only going to do 9% damage, 2% uh, critical hit. Eh, you know, we'll, we'll start, we'll keep, we'll wear him down. So you'll see here, maybe they'll actually do enough damage to take care of, to hurt one of them. So you saw I lost one guy, my attack actually drops a little bit. Um, not a ton, but a little bit. Uh, so let's make another metal, and um, that will do it for my turn. So now we're getting, we have a lot of people now. We're getting really geared up to go to hopefully take them out. Um, ah, they took out one of my Lancers. He's not going to do much damage to them. So let's, uh, ooh. He's, attack, he's attacking my scout. We didn't, do any we didn't really do any damage to each other. <laughs> So you can see how I lost two guys there. Uh, they won't do much damage to him. But these uh, these scouts are getting set up to be taken down pretty easily. I also have the hammer, or the, I'm sorry, the these guys, the armored vehicles that I just made. And uh, I don't know how far they can go. I can go pretty far. We'll kind of bring them up. Uh, let him wait. I will make some more riflemen. Let him go up as well. We're just kind of getting ready there with them. It's like the Lancers can't move very far. Uh, wait there, and... Rifleman. I'm gonna keep pushing him up, because I need to start seeing what's up here. Uh, you know, we gotta start seeing what's going on up here, where everyone is. Uh, oh, there's like a base in front of me, nice. I can actually do some capturing. So I'm gonna push up past these guys, because they will uh, eventually start running into like the, the better people I have behind me that are hanging out. I want to see what their base looks like up here. Um, I don't wanna really want to lose this guy, but I need to keep him up here. So I'll probably lose him when it's all said and done. Although I might be able to do some damage to him just because I'm in the woods. So we'll take them out. This is very this is a very tackle-based game, again, like Advanced Wars. So if you're not a big fan of these type of games, you may find them boring. Um, I actually kind of like them. So I, I also like the idea of... Uh, oh. Can't go very far with him. That's weird. I also like the idea of uh, like your your characters ranking up as you um, as you use them and stuff. And this one's more like advanced wars, kind of crossed with like a uh, there we go, like a, like a command and conquer style game. So I think we'll continue here to hopefully finish these guys out. And then wow, that that is very strong. I'm glad I made a few of them. <laughs> I'll say I have a few of them over there. I'm glad I have them. They're, they seem pretty strong. I just got to get them like further up the uh, up the road here. So, and they're taking my guys out. It's a good thing I can keep building them, I guess. Battle day ten. Here we go. So, this guy's up there. We're gonna go. We're gonna go take this guy out. We're gonna take him out real quick. Forty-one percent. So he'll do. That'll do like at least half the damage to them and wipe out half of their group. There we go. Not gonna do much of any damage to me. And then I'll be able to finish them up with, uh, I guess with this guy, we'll get him done. And they'll rank up just by taking him out. So there we go. I could have done lock on, I guess, that whole thing. I could have just done that to uh, finish him off. But there we go. So it's it's a little slower going right now with uh, the level I'm doing here. I don't know if they're still building people though. Maybe they have a set amount that they have and they're not planning on building anymore. Cause they just, they have like defeat all of the all of the people, I guess, all the enemies. Uh, let me move him up. 
So I'm just going to keep building people, keep moving up. And uh, that should at least give you guys a, a decent idea of what you're playing. My biggest concern here, because I, I did this as well on the PC, check that video out also if you want another look at another few levels. I think I did some of the more beginner ones. This is kind of a little later in the first uh, world kind of in the campaign. I really wanted you guys to see what it looked like. That was the biggest thing because visually it is lower resolution, but it seems to be okay other than that. Like everything else looks fine. So I just wanted you guys to understand what it looked like. So, and, and of course, if you want to buy it based on, well, if it's your type of game, it might, it might not be your type of game. So I'm going to jump you guys over to some handheld footage now. Um, give you guys a look at what it looks like when we're playing it handheld mode. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, definitely stay tuned because we're going to play a few other games. I know we have uh, uh, Mutant Muds up and then we have uh, uh, Blossom Tales. And I think we're playing Tiny, and again, another, another a Tiny Trooper XL. So there's, there's a lot of stuff coming up. Another one will be out tonight and then two more tomorrow. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.